The dynamic view is a non-linear thinking space inside the Liquid Author word processor. Let's see it in action. I'll create a new word processing document and I'll go into the dynamic view by doing Command D or clicking at the bottom of the document. I'll just double click anywhere, type something and hit enter. If I feel like I need more working space, I can use the escape key to toggle in and out of full screen. Here, I can move the text around anywhere I please to start grouping the text and developing a more dynamic view of my work. I can connect text by control dragging one piece of text onto another and I can control click on the text to turn it into an annotation or a heading. I'll go back to the word processing view with Command D and type some text. Having gotten further into working on the document, I return to the dynamic view again and, as you can see, some of the text has turned bold. This indicates that it's also in the word processing view. If I double-click this text, I get a list of all the sentences in the document which contains the text. I can click on a sentence to jump to it in the word processing view or I can go back to the dynamic view by clicking exit at the bottom of the window. If I double-click non-bold text, author appends it to the end of the word processing document with the cursor after it so that I can expand on the topic. When I go back to the dynamic view, this will now also be bold. The dynamic view gives me the freedom of a non-linear thinking space while keeping my text connected to what's in my word processing document. It's not disconnected in a different app or website, it's all part of the same coherent whole. This is a place for me to brainstorm, concept map, mind map, or just jot down thoughts freely. I hope that you will find it useful with anything from writing a thesis to a book. Liquid Author is available for macOS from www.liquid.info.